Hi, Alan. Hello, Pontus. We used to do podcasts with the two of us, but now we realize that having uh, an extra opinion is worth its weight in gold. So last time we had Adrian, who was the scientist, who was phenomenally good. And we have another phenomenally good video today. We're having True, uh, True Dark Seed. He's a YouTuber in his own right. And what he's done, he's not scientific, but we have learned so much from him on so many levels because he's not a jazz musician, but he has jazz in his blood. If you want to call it soul, then you can call it soul. He's jazziness. And you can hear him talk, you can hear him think, you can hear him explain things, and you understand about music, and you understand about emotions, and about being connected. And this is a huge lesson about life, to get into the soul of true and hear him talk about Angelina Jordan, and music, and life, and this is a complete education. It's not a scientific education, but it's as good as. Yeah. I mean, uh, after talking with True, uh, I want to become his friend. If Angelina Jordan does a concert in Detroit, let's go to Detroit and hang out with True. He's introducing us to not only a new way of thinking, he's introducing us to a new language. Yeah, yeah. I really like uh, his style in his reactions. Yeah. 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 So I'm so it's, glad he, um, he uh, went along with our in invitation and, uh, and wanted to do this. It's being open and it's being, uh, it's connecting to all people everywhere in a human way. And this is the Angelina Jordan me message. He has understood that and it really, really shows. And he, he wants to be called true. And that's so great because he is very much like a very honest person. He says it like it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, in, in a delightful way and creative, you know, he's, um, when he speaks, he's like a jazz improvising, making music, you know, it's just, um, it's fun and it's entertaining. It's just great. It's just great. And I hear you just finished editing this. So uh, what did you think of it? Yeah. yeah. On a scale from one to 10, I would give it um, uh, 6,042. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> True, you're, you're talking our type of language. This is exactly the reason why we started this podcast, because we've heard one vo vocal coach after another, and they're all talking about the technical side. And we're saying, hey, this is not what Angelina Jordan is about. Mm -hmm. She's talking, we're talking about how she makes you feel. So I, you're right on our wavelength. Exactly. I, look, I don't care how technically good you are at, at singing and understanding you know, the the variations in, in notes and pitch and tone and octaves. I don't I don't care about that. Nobody on this side of the of the headphones care about that. We listen to music depending on how we're feeling at the moment. If I'm going to the gym, I'm gonna listen to music that's gonna pump me up and get me hyped so I can get through my workout. If I'm sad, I'm gonna listen to music that's going to help lift me up to get me out of that mood, right? That's that's why we listen to music. It's like like these headphones. I looked at a bunch of different headphones, and the reviews that I listened to were the people who were like me, not the the audio snobs. Oh, the oh, it's a little weak in the mids, and the the <laughs> highs aren't super crisp. I don't care about that. Do I have good bass? Because I'm a hip hop guy. Do I have good bass? And can I hear? And does the noise canceling actually work? Done. So, oh, and they're a good price too? That's music to me. <laughs> yeah. If I can't feel it, I don't want to hear it. And there's some, there is some music okay. from, from some artists as I go, oh, well, it's okay. Okay. I won't turn it off the radio if it comes on, but I'm not going to look for it. Miss, Miss Jordan is not, not that person. <laughs> I am looking for her stuff now. Yeah. She is on my Spotify playlist. Now, true. What, we, what, what we're talking about, what you're talking about, the nature of feeling and going into detail, 
not many people talk about this. This is something, it's almost like a secret and it should be much more out in the open and people should be elaborating and going into detail about this. And when we started up this podcast, we said, hey, there's a niche in the market. There's something here that needs filling. And that's why we had this idea. And that's why we got you in here tonight yeah. because the more detail you can go and talk us through, how you feel generally and how you feel when you listen to Angelina Jordan and a specific song or a specific mood that you heard. Just 12 hours ago, I watched you listening to her singing A Natural Woman. Oh. And I learned a new word when I watched you. I learned the word yes. stupid. I didn't know it had an opposite yes. meaning. Yeah. So you got to remember, I'm urban. Yep. Oh, well, I couldn't help it. I had to. It just came out. I'm an urban guy, right? I come, I come from the hood, so I use a lot of urban vernacular. So here in the states, in the urban com in the urban communities, stupid is a good thing. Just like saying yeah. "I'm bad" is a good thing, yeah. right? You know, we take a lot of negative terms and we flip them into good terms. So, oh, dude, that was yeah. stupid. We used to take those negative terms and we turned them into good terms, right? Oh, dude, that you see, do you see that car? Oh man, that car is so bad. It means it mm -hmm. looks good. It's a it's a hot car. It's fly. So, I just latched on yeah. to stupid. Yeah. That's just my that's just my mm -hmm. go to word when something is. And then I didn't realize because I do that because that's just me. Until one of the comments, Million Miles got uh, blocked the first time. That someone said in the comments, and I actually do read all my comments. Well, maybe her family took exception to you to to the to you saying stupid and i went oh but the person <laughs> in the comments said they probably didn't realize that that's a good thing and i went oh i probably should explain mm -hmm. that so uh, that's why i explained it this time so when we want we want some hood so, in this conversation it's because we don't have we don't have any hood from anyone else so you can be a hood guy so to get back to your question about how I feel, let me go back to the first video. She's done things in that little video that you don't hear anymore. No, the, the first song that I reacted to, I put a spell on you. Yeah. She did things in that song as what, a yeah. nine-year-old girl, 10-year-old girl that was crazy, crazy like that. That that call back to the band and they were and the and the horns respond. Hey, what's up? Ooh. I ain't that call back. Who yeah. does that today? Nobody. Yeah. Because James Brown did that fifty years ago when he said, "Hey, Bobby, take yes. him to the bridge." Bobby, should I take him to the bridge? Go ahead, take him on to the bridge. Take him to the bridge. 100%. You used to see that a whole lot more back in the back in the 50s yeah. and the 60s and and even some in the in the 70s. But as the 80s got here, jazz and and the rhythm, they don't do that. They don't they just don't do it. Right? And for somebody that young to understand the essence of that genre of music to put that in there, that was phenomenal. That with that right there, let me know. Okay, this girl, this girl ain't no joke. Like for real, for real. But then Million Miles, I was really upset that got blocked. Yeah. Because I'm a very open guy, as you you can tell by my reactions that I'm a very open guy. So I'm you you're gonna tell by my by my body language if I'm truly enjoying something or if I just think it's okay or if I don't like it. That song from her, I literally had no words. I could not. There was nothing to say. And I was upset that it got blocked because that's the reaction that it deserves. It's the reaction that it deserves out of respect yeah. for the power of that song. I just let it play. And all I could do was this. Hmm. And yes, I did well up. No.
what happens true is that when you hear three songs and then six songs and eight songs, something happens because you realize she's at the same level in every genre. Yes. Everything she touches, she's like King Midas. Yeah. Everything she touches turns to gold. So that's why I'm uh, I got to get to I got to get to that Bohemian Rhapsody. I get flooded with so many requests. Her list is like this. I always just comment it's on the list. <laughs> it it's on the list. And then certain <laughs> certain ones and I don't I don't choose which one I do by the most comments. That's not how I do things. I'll go and I'll look at I'll just look at the list and I'll go, "You know what? I'll do this one." So I'm taking the comments, but I'm not, unless I specifically say for you, tell me which one you want me to do. And that's the next one I'm doing. Other than that, I just okay. go. Cause, and I just, with her, I just throw a dart cause I know it's going to be good. Yeah. The question is how good that million mile song. I haven't had a song touch me like that hmm. in a very, very, very long time. I am mean, I'm talking back in the early Whitney, Whitney Houston days, like young Whitney Houston. I haven't had a song touch me like that. What do you yeah, think that, was yeah. the, the triggering factor that made you be touched like that with a song? Was well, it... I, the sincerity, yeah. the, the truthfulness. The, yeah, you, I felt yeah. every word of that song. And it wasn't her voice. Every word that came out of her mouth was 100% believable as her truth. And I could feel it. I could feel it. It's like what I try to say. You don't have to hit super high notes to punch people in the face to quote unquote make them feel. I believed every word. True. When I watched you react to Natural Woman, you used the S word and you said, she is so subdued. And that's the really, really good word because so many uh, singers, so many good singers like Mariah Carey, they belt it out and they um, knock you over with their voice. But when someone is subdued, you have to listen more carefully and then you see all the richness to it. But her, her being subdued, I'm not sure I've heard that word used with her. And that's such a good see, word. And that's so accurate. That, I, I use that in all genres of music. I use it in hip hop, right? Say, for instance, in hip hop, yeah. The fast rapping or chopper rapping like Tech Nine and Twister. A lot of people do that. And it takes a lot of skill to be able to do it. But the difference is they don't understand. It's not the fact that you can spit so many syllables in a small space that makes it good. It's knowing where not to say something is what makes it good. They're so good because not because they can rap fast and are very still still very articulate and you can uh you can understand every word because their enunciation is so good. That's not what makes them so good at it. It's the fact that they know where not to say anything. They know where to leave that space. We go back to singers. Do hitting high notes get a reaction? Yes, it does. But if all you, if that's all you give me, then I'm like, eh, I'm good. It's what do you do in the rest of the song? What, what do you do when you laid back? Could I listen to that same version the way you just did it acapella and get the same feeling? If I can't, if I can't listen to it without any background music and get the same feeling, then you're not singing to me. I mean, take that back. You're just singing to me. Yeah. I got good news and mm -hmm. bad news. The bad news is Angelina Jordan hasn't done hip hop <laughs> yet. But that's the bad news. The, the good news is you like gospel. And when you hear something's got a hold, you better make sure that y you have extra socks on. Oh, sometimes I could feel it. Before, no, no, no. Because oh. otherwise your feet are going to fly off. I have, um, that's the video that I'm um, working on editing right now to post when I, when we get done. I already got it. The first part of that, 
that opening of that video, I'm like, oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I say, I think I said something yeah. like, is she from Georgia? Is she from Mississippi? Not Mississippi, Mississippi. Yeah. It sounds like she's from, uh, she was born and raised down south in Baptist church, right? Yeah. I honestly, yeah. I would have rather just hear her song that acapella. I really would. Because that, that yeah. beginning of that was yeah. so powerful. That it was, I'm like, wow. It was very good. I wish I could hear her do that version acapella. And she was so cute with the flowers on her head. But yeah, that that opening, that took me back That took me back to my childhood. Going to church with my foster mom. I believe that, you have some uh, similarities with uh, Angelina. Because you were also brought up listening to... Uh, those kind of uh, uh, artists. Oh, 100%. A lot of jazz, a lot of blues. That's why, you know, I lean toward hip hop because where all the great hip hop samples come from? How can I not like hip hop because it has a jazz blues foundation with a little sprinkle of uh, extra sauce on the top? So I love big jazz. Now, I'm, I'm horrible with names because I feel music so much that the artist names and the band names don't really matter to me. So if I remember your name, you know you made an impression on me, like for real. Mm -hmm. Angelina Jordan, I will never forget that name. I will never forget her name, ever. There's rappers that I'm like, oh, there's this rapper from back in the day. He put this song out. The song was so good, but I can't, I can't remember his name. I remember the song. The song was powerful, but something about the, the them just wasn't enough for, to overpower enough for me to remember. I will never forget her. Just for real. I'm going to use the R word, true, and tell you, me and Pontus and many other people, we've gone down the rabbit hole. And I'm, I'm retired now. You know, some people, when they retire, they take up painting, and some people go fishing. Some people take right. up golf. I just make Angelina Jordan videos. That's all I do. Hey, I, I think that's a, a great pastime to be, uh, to be in, because there's a 16 now. Can you imagine her at 30? I mean, just think about that. Technically, she's still in her infancy. She hasn't even got her full singing voice yet. We haven't heard her full power yet. We still got another four or five years, six years before she gets to that point. And she's like this now. Oh, man, she's ki she killing the game. Yeah. That's the best acquisition Republic Records have ever done. I'm happy for her. You see, some people ask me if I work for Angelina's team. And I said, no, 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 I'm, this is just my hobby. I'm just doing it because she deserves mm -hmm. it. Uh, every man, woman, and child should have their emotions rearranged by yeah. Angelina Jordan. And that, that's, I, that's weird. Do you know how all, all major artists have fans who care about them and do the exact thing that you're doing? They have fan bases. They have people who run podcasts about them. What I'm like, what's the difference? Do you enjoy it? Yes. Does she move you enough to make you act? Yes. Then so be it. That is the power of a true artist. They move you to action. Even more than that, because Pontus and I, when we decided to do this podcast, we actually started with the expression, hey, she's changed me as a person. And then... I said, hey, me too. And that was the basis. And we wanted to, can I say, spread yes. the word. And then uh, as soon as we said that, other people said, hey, she changed me too. Uh -huh. And there's one thing to be a fan. It's another thing to appreciate and music. It's another thing to be reached yep. emotionally. But when you get changed as a person, that's the next level. I only call myself a fan of someone if they can move me emotionally. If you can't move me, like make me feel, I may like your music, but I won't really call myself a fan of yours. There's a lot of great artists out there that I love. I, I like their music, but I'm not, I'm like a fan fan. I can take it or leave it. And then there's artists like Angelita Jordan that I'm a fan fan. I'm a fan fan now. You're, you're an angel. If you put me, if I put you in my Spotify playlist, you made it, made it. 
to me. You made it, made it. You've only got your big toe wet. You haven't even gone into the ocean. Uh, I guess I better get my, get myself some floaties then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody asked me if uh, how how was my trip down the rabbit hole, and uh, or the, no or the keep going down the rabbit hole. I said, look, I'm so far down the rabbit hole, I can't stop until I get to the bottom. That's just the way it is. Yeah. I'm, I actually look forward to doing her reactions. It was a rough day doing both two two reactions to her at the same time because, man, she takes a lot out of me. I'll be like, <laughs> I recorded both those reactions at the same time. So I recorded them yesterday morning. I took the rest of the afternoon off from doing anything but other than playing video games because I'm like, I can't even go wow. in and edit these. Okay. Once I recharge, I'm like, okay, because you have to listen to them again. When, when you listen to them again, when you're editing, and then sometimes I'm I'm editing, I'm just like this. Oh shoot! Hold on, I got to get this done so I can get it uploaded. So <laughs> I like so Miss Jordan. I was not joking. She uh, she's gonna have to get her own day because I made the, every time I make that, that I do that I react to her. Like I can't react to somebody else now. I, got, I don't have the energy, and it's it's not fair to the to the next artist. So mm-hmm. yeah. On days that I either have to, if I know I have to do two reactions, she has to be last. Yeah. I can't do hers first because once I'm done, I literally, it just takes everything out of me. I'm like, wow. I'm, not, I'm like this all the rest of the day. You're not going to get to the bottom because what happens is she puts out on TikTok, she puts out on Instagram. And so like three or four times a month, you're going to hear something new thrown at you. I have someone, uh, a friend of mine, who he's an Angelina Jordan mm-hmm. super fan. I call him my procurer. <laughs> he finds the video for me. He sends it to me. He says, hey, Alan, do this one. So, you know, I, I have a team. I purposely have not started following her on Instagram or TikTok yet. I've done it on purpose because I know, I know the spoilers are in there. And I'm like, and then I'm like, oh. I was going to do this, but now maybe I should go do this. Oh, okay. Oh, her tick. Yeah. I'm like, nope, I'm not doing that to myself. I'm not doing it. Not doing it. I'll just, I'll just add it to the list (laughs) and work my way through it. All you need to do is take a month off work. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, You know, if I had the PTO, I would, if I had enough vacation, you don't think I would sit, sit back and go, okay. Deep dive into the rabbit hole. Let's get let's get to this. One hundred percent would. One hundred percent would. One thing looking forward to and also a little bit um, dreading is the day when she releases her album. What are we going to do then? I might have to do a a, a live stream for that one. Yeah. But are you going to yeah, listen through all to... the songs at one time? Or I mean, That's... how are you going to work that? That's that's I, I think. See. That has been on my mind for the last like two weeks. Okay, she hasn't dropped the album yet. Man, I can't even imagine. If she drops like a 18 song album, I'm gonna flip my lid. I can't not listen to all 18. I can't not do that. They may not be new songs. They may be songs that if you're up on Angelina that you're familiar with. So I'm um, okay with that. She may just take the best. I'm the newbie. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay still the newbie, too. so that it'll all be new to me. 90% of it will still be new to me. So I'm just excited. I know she got an album coming. I know it's coming. I just can't wait till it drops. I'm honestly considering doing a live stream review of her album when it drops. You need to find which song you should listen to while you're bowling. <laughs> mm, I can't listen to Angelina while I'm bowling because then I don't want to bowl. <laughs> That I just want to sit there and listen. <laughs> I have to listen to something that that I can use that just that's just more like background music. If I have her in my ear when I'm trying to bowl, I'm not gonna be able to focus. I'm gonna be like people are gonna be looking at me like you're gonna go. You gonna you gonna go? Oh oh my bad. Yeah no yeah I can listen to her at the table, but I cannot. I won't be able to listen to her when it's bowl. She I, she just draws all my attention, and I can't. I can't focus. Before bowling, though, I actually listen to her before bowling. It helps clear my mind and get me on the state. And then I listen to her after bowling. I actually listen to a Natural Woman again on my way home from bowling in my car because it yeah. sounds so much better in my car. Well, not now. Now that I got my new headphones, it sounds really good in my new headphones. 
if you listen to her while you're bowling, you won't see the pins because of the tears. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and 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 I don't think my teammates would like that too much. They're like, "What's going <laughs> no. on?" I'm like, "You, you, I'm just listening to a really good song right now." <laughs> you just the man, they're like, "Man, if you, they will snatch my ears." Hey, what you listening to? Calm down. <laughs> I'm just listening to a thunderstorm because. You know, rain and thunder calms me down so I can, and it helps me focus. But then, but I do listen to, like, like I said, on my way home from bowling, I did re-listen to Natural Woman. And she, she made me start singing. And I, I think that's actually quite common. You make me feel, feel you, you make, make me feel, feel you make, make me feel, feel like a natural Woman. Phenomenon in uh, reaction videos that something about her voice and uh, the way she sings that it, it sort of provokes you to, I want to sing too. Mm -hmm. This is so good. I yep. want to be a part of it. Especially that song for me, because that song is, I really, really love that song. And I can listen to other people sing it and it not really affect me. I just, it, uh, on the other side, of like, oh, it sounds so good because the song is so good. I have not sung, like, for real in front of people in a long time. She made me sing on, on, on the reaction. I did a whole video about her p doing that song. And yet when I was watching you listening to that song, it was like I was hearing it for the first yeah. time. Oh again. man. I was when it was over, I didn't realize it was over and I looked up like, oh no, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, we're not done yet. I was not ready for it to be over. And then when they told me why it ended so abruptly in the comments, I'm like, oh, she's a genius. That was the feeling I got. I'm like, oh no, this can't be over. I need more. So I literally rewound it. Yeah, I think it was it recorded uh, just a few days after Aretha passed away, so. Yeah, someone told me that they she did that for uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, or one of the Queen songs. Yeah, that's the show must go that's on. Respect. Yeah, that's, that's respect right there. It's a, it's a sign of there is a real brain up there. Uh, 100%. Really. 100%. Thinking through everything. You can't teach that. No. You have to be born with that. She had the right set of mixture coming up. She had the talent around her. She had the right nurturing around her to get her line of thinking to be the way it is. And it's beautiful. She had it in her heart and it really shows. And her, uh, when she sings, her heart is on the, her sleeve and we're not used to that. And it makes us put our heart in our sleeve. Yeah, I notice things like how many times, how, how often she's singing with her eyes closed. Or she's singing and her eyes will roll back as she's closing her head. I'm like, dude, she's feeling it, feeling it. Yeah, she's... Uh, I'm like, she's feeling it, feeling it. She's talked about uh, that she goes into a special place, like a, a world of her own when she sings. And it's a beautiful world. I wish the real world was like that. Man. I... I go. I have a feeling I'm, that I'm, I'm uh, in. Uh, a part of uh, that world is taking a part of that world with her through her singing and giving it to us. Because I, th I think there's a, sort of a, a special connection with the audience that she has. There's only a handful of singers that's ever been able to grab hold of an audience like that. There's very few. The only other... I'm like, you have to look at the Aretha's. You got to look at the Michael Jackson's. You got to look at these caliber singers because when they open their mouths, they evoke mm, and you can't not listen. True. You like gospel. And one of the lines which is popular in gospel is, I got the spirit in me. Mm -hmm. Now, Angelina Jordan doesn't have to say it. She just demonstrates it because you can see the spirit in her and you can feel the spirit in her. And that's a really unique ability. So it's much better that she doesn't have to announce it. She can just mm -mm. show it. I, if you have to say it, then you don't got it. Exactly. That's the way I look at things. If you have to say it, then you don't have it. It's not there. You may be trying yeah. to get it, but you don't have it. I'm the same way. That's the, I, I tra if I don't, if I feel it, I feel it. And you know it. My body don't lie. You can see it. When it hits me, my eyes light up. I, my, my body, I just, I, Danny, thank you, my guy. <laughs> By the way, we need to say Danny is the one who told True about Angeline in the first place. So he is making a public 
thank you to be yes. turned on to Angelina Jordan. Yeah. Look, if you saw the comment that he wrote, it was beautiful. And he wrote a comment that was like this. And it started out, you know, man, I love your reaction. I don't know if this is your taste, but there's this young lady out and then he just went down and he, he went through it. And then at the bottom, he said, I know I'm, I apologize that this comment was, is so long and I read it and I replied. So on that comment, all I said was first, make your comments as long as you want. I read them all. Second, I have a surprise for you. His passion in that comment made me push everything that I had planned to react to a side and react to her, to her. That's why I did it because I could feel his passion for the artist. So I'm like, well, if he's this passionate enough to write a book in my comments, I got to see, I got to see who this is. So I pushed everything else aside and that's why I reacted to, I got, I put a spell on you. That's why I did it. It was literally because of him. And I was like, and I was hooked that, that, that was it. I'm like that one right there. I'm like, I need to start looking around the world for more music because I'm missing out. That's <laughs> that one song was enough to just punch me in the chest to go. Oh my God. Look, I feel it right now. Remembering how I felt when I first saw that. And that's the music I always can feel. Even if I'm not listening to it, just thinking about a song that makes me feel, I start to feel. Like right now, I get this. I get this little, this little sensation right here in the middle of my chest. Just talking about how that song affected me and how it affected Danny enough to share it with me, and then for me to see and understand why he felt that way. Because now I feel it. It's it's amazing, dude. It's amazing. You don't know until you look. And yeah, you guys love Angelina, but you love her because your love for mu good music. And that understanding was there. And then she just put the cherry on top of the, on top of the ice cream on the Sunday because she's like, Oh, you like good music? Well, I got good music and I'm taking all your feelings with me. How about that? I don't use the word music anymore because I'm looking for new words in, in the language. I, I, I'm not sure the words have been invented yet to describe what Angelina Jordan does. You know, she's just redefining. I, I, I might as well start speaking Bulgarian. Um, <laughs> True, you are a great guest, and we want to get you back again when you have more exposure to more of her songs in different styles, because this conversation could last for three hours, it could last for six hours. And we're learning a lot of new words. I've never been to Detroit, so I'm getting an education. Yeah. And we want to hear you talk about all the different stuff. I mean, I grew up with Motown. Mo Motown, for me, Motown was like mother's milk. 100%. That's what I grew up with. 100%. 100%. Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody is coming up uh, in the next few days. So it's time for me to okay. time for me to get out of the jazz blue side and jump in the other side and, and let's see what she see, see see what she got over there. Queen were ahead of their time. If they had came out in the mid to late eighties, the early nineties, they'd have blown everybody away. Like for real, for real. Yeah, yeah. They would they would be untouchable. Yeah. They just came out in an era where they were good, but pe but people didn't understand how good they were. People didn't understand how good they were. Before you listen to Bohemian Rhapsody, you need a seatbelt on. <laughs> because you, you, uh, you will be staying in your chair. I already did. Already, Harry Mack already made me do one reaction standing up. Uh, yeah, I might as well have, to have the, du the, the double and have Angelina do me have do one standing up. You know? It's... Okay. Because p people are doing reactions to your reactions now. You know that, right? Really? Yeah. No, I did not. Yeah. I did not. Okay. I will forward that to you. Oh, that's, yeah. I would like to see that so I can go, so I can at least give them props and, and subscribe. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You got, yeah. you got it. You got it. Oh, man. True. It's great talking to you. You are a breath of fresh air and you are a lot of fun. And um, I don't think I've stopped smiling for the last half hour. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Look, I've had a very, 
interesting life. And I was blessed at the right points in my life to have the right type of people to help keep me from falling the wrong way. I grew up in foster care. I was in foster care from age four to age 12. And I got adopted at age 12, which is unheard of, right? Because people don't want older kids. They want babies. Yeah. Yeah, of course. My uh, adoptive father, RIP, he was a man's man, right? Gentle giant from Mississippi, give you the shirt off his back. And he taught me the value of a man and his word. Be true to you. If you're going to do it, give it a hundred percent and be real. Don't be fake. And I live by that. That is what I live by. So it shows he taught you well, he taught you really well. That's who I am. Right. So what, if you, if you met me in person, if you knew me in real life, Cause that's how I am. I don't change. Right? I am who I am. So yeah. I'm going to give you me and I'd like to have fun. I like to make people smile. I like to laugh and joke. I love music. I love, I love video games. I love cooking. The, so there's a little bit of everything on my channel. That's why it's that way. I don't just love hip hop. Hip hop is still like my, my number one genre of music, but I love music. That's, that's why there's not just hip hop on my channel. Get you giving me a singer? I'm good with that. Oh, you want to show me a jazz band? I'm okay with that. Oh, you want me to listen to this 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 Korean the, uh, this Indian rapper? I'm good with that. Oh, you got this Filipino guy? I'm good with that. I just want good music. That's all I care about. Let's enjoy music together. Let's have fun. There's not enough, that, especially as these past uh, couple years yeah. with everything that's going on. I miss social interaction. So this is my way of giving people social interaction. We can come together, even if we don't 100% agree on a a topic, like who's the best singer or who's the best rapper, we can have discussions, right? We can talk about it. Talk to me, explain to me why this person is your number one and why this person is, you know, that's, that's all I want, right? And if I can get you to smile and laugh at the same time, it's a win-win for me. So, Thank you, guys. Yeah, I appreciate you having me on. It's awesome. It, yeah. It's our privilege, true. And um, I can speak for both of us. We definitely will have you back. And uh, I'll write to you. You don't have to tell me who, uh, which songs you, that you're hearing from her because I'll see it on your channel. Right. And then when, when, you, have, um, when you have your belly full, <laughs> then we can talk about how, how good you're feeling. Right. Okay? Yeah, I want to get through. Let me get through some of the other genres. Let me get some of, through some of the pop and some of the R&B and uh, some of the rock. I don't care how long it's been. If y'all have me back, I'm back. It's all good. Okay. You, you got it, True.